So that's how a regular Palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. It didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy, he scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! The job with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Tom, Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just. I just, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grill's a little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin, I got... Yeah, tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time Crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We are running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. 
Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You'll go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stand. So that's five. Let's... Hey, hey, buona sera, Tommy. Yo, what's going on, Luigi? How you doing? Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? Right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is. Then look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lolo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. Oh, but you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your m -m motor safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks, good to know. The garage, eh? Let's see what I got in here. 17 cars already on. The bolt. All right, we got a Model B. A Tomahawk, okay. Maybe a little Harley Davidson action. Oh, God. Some nice pickups. This is more luxury, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's rough. There's some violence in this car. There's a lot of violence in this car. Is that police? Let's slow it down. No use in getting caught. Stirring up trouble. We're in the clear. Making sure it's not the cops. And we're back on the road. You Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah it's got a lot of horsepower. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it.
Here she is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Oh, we starting the time right now? Hey, hey! We got a lot of speed. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, hey, hey! Shit. What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> well, I should have known. So remember in the first episode when I said there was a particular mission where I needed to turn off or uh, lighten up the difficulty? Yeah, it was this mission. This mission absolutely sucks. It sucks eggs. The driving on this game is terrible. Look, I can't even slow down. Jesus Christ, I was on the brake that whole time. This is the worst driving in any video game of all time ever that's not named Cyberpunk. Absolutely garbage driving. And then they want you to race in this. Terrible. Oh my god. Jesus. Christ, they couldn't give me a little something better. The car I was in earlier was better than this. Sorry, I got places to be. Here we go, across the bridge, not too far now. Turn to save my life. Oh, my goodness! Come on, man. Come on, baby. You're here. Oh, it's terrible. Tommy Angela. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Our cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Yeah, as careful as possible.
Holy. Christ, we're already down to a minute. Let's hit it. Oh, those ain't gunshots. Excuse me, I'm coming through. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not even worried about it. Never gonna catch this thing. Sorry, I'm on a time limit here. Come on, get out of the way. Time limit. I got places to be. What are you doing? Three o'clock in the morning. Go home to your, to your lady. Hey, 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 look at that. Blew out the engine on the entry. I might have a little bit of luck on my side. Hey, yo, Bertone, or whatever your name is. Look who's back in pristine condition. Oh, you're back. Thank Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey, you've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't... There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. Roars away, but there are some worried faces from the mechanics in the pit lane. All right, listen, boys. All right, listen, boys. If you see me go black screen and we uh 
cut to the end of the race it's because this absolutely sucks look at this look how far behind I am because you can't turn this damn car yeah no we're going to we're going to medium difficulty this is not this is not a good mission get out of the way there's no catching up to this guy in first by the way you cannot catch up to him you Some can get to third really starting to stretch out ahead now you will not get to first the guy in that red car absolute monster the new challenger Tommy Angelo trailing at the end of the pack Oh my god, turn, please. Jesus, these cars are actually old. <laughs> McKellen is leading. More not far behind. Anyone could win. We're gonna try this one time on classic difficulty. The race leaders but I know this is not gonna work. So after this, I'm putting it on medium. And I'm skipping to the end of the race. No longer a contender. The front three are jostling for position. My God, yeah, no, 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 no. It's not. It's not. No, I'm not doing it. Yeah, this mission was not gonna get done on classic. I don't know. I don't even know if somebody is somebody beating this game on classic. Some drivers really starting to stretch out ahead now. Has someone actually beaten this race on classic mode? Classic difficulty? Somebody has to do Somebody had to have done it. And what's funny about this race is that I actually have Need for Speed playthroughs on this YouTube channel. So I very clearly can drive on a game. But this game just, oh my god, it's terrible. Hey, Tommy! There's <laughs> our winner! Hey, Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You ain't us all a lot of money today. And Morell's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Huh? Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got lucky, so. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Alright. Now we can... <laughs> now we can put the game back on classic. Jesus. Hey, back in the game. All right. Get my get my vocal cords ready. Hey, yo. How you doing, your Ralphie? made that work easy to Tommy. When they just started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did it, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Paulie? Don't know. He said he was uh, hungry or something. Okay. 
Hope you enjoy yourself. She sure -sh -sh will, Tom. Thanks. He was hungry, huh? Where are they selling food around right, here? Race, yeah, how you doing, Frank? They selling food over here. That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until six. Please leave when Got requested. Some barbecue going. Real nice. Say, hey, yo, Sam, you seen Polly? Great race, champ. Oh, who's this? Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy's soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. He came through here. Yeah, how you doing? Oh, we got donuts, cake, my God. A nice little thing we got I'm going here. I'm the LHPD to remind all race goers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Now when the dawn's here. Oh, thank Christ you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Who's the other guy? Whoever the other guy is, you tell the other guy he sends the cops over. He's gonna need another guy. Cow says moo and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. Let's go, Jim. He did real good today, Tommy, with the driving I was right I was right when I found you you know what I said what did you say Polly I said this guy can drive Don Salieri this is a guy who can drive and here we are here we are right here that's where we are you put me to shame Tom look at you now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got a doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your minds race and then some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> Where the hell he goes home to? Bali, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies. Take me to the blue tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. All right. Now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I'll leave it to you to swim with the Barracudas, Polly. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. It's... there's a blue sign. Gonna need more than that. There's a blue sign and it says Blue Tropics and it's right near the docks. <sighs> Figures. Check a map or something. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, Polly, uh... Yeah, we're going home, pal. As much as I love to take you to the... the ladies. We're gonna crap it out. Ah, uh, home? Throw me home. Yeah, maybe... Maybe that's... Yeah, a good idea. Yeah, well... Okay, I'm gonna... Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, I, I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs>